Finding a co This is my cat. He's an asshole and he knows when we're filming. He's very pretty. Very pretty. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, a question that I've been asked a number of times on the channel. And it's a really, really good question. How do you find the right voiceover coach for you? How do you know if a coach is the right coach for you? Hey guys, Gabby here, talking voiceovers, doing the damn things. Shamelessly plugging my friend, by the way, Rick's awesome. If you want me to shamelessly plug you on my channel, I'm happy to do so. Just send me some of your promotional crap. I've talked before about scams and coaches to avoid and things that you really don't want to have happen. But finding the right coach, totally different conversation. My first tip, biggest piece of advice I have, Find a coach whose career in voiceover looks like the career that you want. That's gonna set you on the right path. Let me give you an example. If you know me, if you've watched my channel before, you know I hate audiobooks. <laughs> I talk about that quite a bit. Sometimes people will come to me and go, hey Gabby, I love your channel, I love your stuff. Can, I, can, you, can you coach me? Sure. Great, I wanna be an audiobook narrator then why are you coming to me? No, no, I'm the wrong person. You don't want me to coach you in audiobooks. I don't even know enough about that art form to be able to set you on the right path. But there are some amazing voiceover coaches. That's what they do. That's what they're experts in. So I would want you to go to them. I'm the wrong damn person for a lot of stuff. And I have no problem admitting that and telling you where those shortcomings are because all coaches have them. We all have a specialty and we all have something we're great at. And then there's other areas where eh, we're not as focused in the industry. So here's the deal. So you want to do commercials? Get in. I'm driving. Radio imaging or TV promo? Great. Hold my beer. You want to do toys and games? Awesome. Call her. That's my friend Lisa, by the way. You wanna do e-learning? Cool. Here's your expert, Ann Ganguza. Animation, awesome. Take your pick. It's all about finding people who line up with your goals and with the dream that you have for this industry. Now, are you a beginner? Okay. There are a lot of coaches, including myself, who work with beginners and who help people get started in this industry. And we help you to learn the foundation, to learn really those fundamental ground up things that you have to know to be successful in this industry. However, does that mean that you should just go ahead and sign up for some large package or training program or invest a lot of money? No. Not even with me, absolutely not. Instead, what you do is you do a single class, one coaching session, and you do it with a couple of different people. Hell, maybe a dozen people and try us out. At the end of the day, yes, there are some amazing voiceover coaches out there, some incredible colleagues in this industry who I love to pieces. We're all doing the same thing. We're all just doing it a little differently and in our own way. And what it comes down to is, when you're the student, who relates to you best? Whose energy do you connect with? Whose teaching style do you like? Who do you feel you got the most benefit from and the most out of after a single trial class? That's the best way to find your coach. And also, huh, newsflash, you're gonna work with more than one coach in the course of your career. We all do. There's nothing wrong with trying out a bunch of different people to see what fits. As a beginner taking classes, basically all you're doing is learning the foundation so that you can later be turned over to coaches in expert areas. So I might be the coach for you, or I might not, and that's perfectly fine. You've gotta try out a few, see who you like, see who you connect with, and then go from there. I hope this helps and wish you luck on finding the coach that's gonna help you get from where you are now to the ultimate place you want for your voiceover career. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. Hey. Bye-bye. It, it looks something like you. Hey, one last thing, guys. These two videos here are really great at answering some of the questions about how to get started in voiceover. Check them out next. See ya.